Hello everyone, my name is Zach, I am The Traveling Man, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a full ship tour of the Celebrity Reflection. We're gonna go from front to back, from side to side, top to bottom on this amazing and beautiful ship. So come on if you're ready, let's get this adventure started. We begin our tour of the Celebrity Reflection here on Deck 3. Deck 3 is the lowest public space or guest area on board the ship, and this is the Grand Foyer. Uh, so you can look all the way up here, uh, that we are midship. You can look all the way up uh, the elevator banks, the glass elevator banks, all the way up to the top. There's that tree that's planted in the middle. And you can see decks four and decks five up above, and then you have the grand staircase here. And this space here is used as like a dance floor. They have events here every evening. This is sort of the heart of evening activity on board the ship. And if we look over here to the starboard side of the ship from the main atrium, this is where you have the guest relations desk, so this is where you go if you have any issues throughout the course of your cruise. And then moving port side, this is the Passports Bar here, so this is a good place to get a drink if you're out in the main atrium uh, dancing or just having a good time. And then we'll head just after that and we'll see the short excursions desk. This is where you're going to come if you have uh, any issues, if you need to book short excursions, if you need to make changes or adjustments to that, you will do all of that at the short excursions desk. And then moving just after that, we're gonna to come to the first dining venue that we'll see this tour. This is Lumine. And Lumine is located on deck three on the starboard side of the ship. And Lumine is exclusive to those guests staying in the retreat. So only guests staying in the retreat can dine at Lumine. It is closed right now, so uh, it's a little dark in here, but I just wanted to show you what Lumine looks like. do have additional seating back here in the back portion of Lumine as well. So now leaving Lumine here on port side of the ship we're actually gonna head over to starboard because we'll find another restaurant over there. So here on deck three about midship uh, over on the starboard side of the ship this is the Opus dining room this is the main dining room on board the ship. So if you have celebrity select which is anytime dining or if you have a set time dining. You will be dining in the main dining room. And the main dining room here is on decks three and also deck four up above. So you can see this very open concept, but it does encompass two floors. It's a very large dining room, but of course, most of the guests on board the ship will be dining here uh, for dinner. They're also open for breakfast each day and lunch some days as well. So now leaving Opus dining room on deck three. That is all of the public spaces on deck three. So now we're gonna head up to deck four. So just come up the stairs to deck four and uh, we'll continue the tour also in Opus dining room, but now in the upper level. So this is just the upper portion of the dining room. And you can see it does look out over where we just were down there on deck three. And there is a staircase here in the dining room so you can walk, uh, you know, up or down if you need to go down to the lower deck down below, but it is a very nice dining room. It does feel uh, very modern in here, especially for a ship that debuted in 2012. So Opus dining room is all the way aft on deck four. So now everything else, we're gonna start heading toward the middle of the ship and the front of the ship. And first thing we're gonna come to is the Martini Bar. The Martini Bar, a very popular location on any celebrity ship but certainly uh, famous on the Solstice class ship because there's such a large area. And here you can see the bar itself. The cool thing about this bar, of course, is the uh, ice top that it has. And if, uh, I'm filming this in the morning, but if this were the evening, you would see this whole area here just coated with ice and you would see patrons all around this bar. It is absolutely the most popular location on this ship in the evenings. You can see there is plenty of seating here, so plenty of places to bring your group, maybe sit and have some pre or post dinner drinks. And the cool thing about it is, it is sort of open to that atrium down below. So maybe your favorite song comes on, or maybe you just hear some things going on and you wanna be a part of the action. Well, you don't have to go far to make yourself part of the action at the Martini Bar. I'm just gonna walk across the atrium here 
over to the other side of deck four. So moving from port over to starboard and we're gonna come to Sailor Masters and Sailor Masters is a wine bar on board the ship. So now leaving Cellar Masters and headed toward the forward of the ship on deck four, we'll come into Fortune's Casino, and this is the only casino on board the Reflection. And it has all the tables and games that you would expect from a cruise ship uh, casino. And just beside the casino here on deck four, these are the celebrity shops. So just this large row of shops. They have all sorts of shops. You can get celebrity branded uh, clothes. They also have uh, all sorts of different watches and bags. There's also uh, a lot of art. So here's some of the art on deck four. Uh, but they just have a lot in the shop. So this is a good place to come if you, uh, if you enjoy shopping on board a cruise ship. Uh, they are open anytime the ship is not in port. So anytime you're in international waters, the shops will be open. Here just beside the shops, you can see over to my right, I'm not gonna show it directly because I never like to show artwork directly on film that's being sold, but uh, this is the art gallery on board. So if you'd like to come check out the art, you can do that here on deck four. And now continuing toward the forward of the ship here on deck four. And just for a little bit of wayfinding, right over there on the other side of the ship is another entrance to Fortune Casino. There is a bar here. This bar is not here on the Solstice or the Equinox when I sell them, but there is a bar that they've added. It's right here in this little open atrium portion on deck four, right in the forward of the ship now. And I've seen them have many different events, this cruise right here in this space. Uh, they've had trivia here. They've had some art auctions and things like that. So they do utilize this space quite a bit. And then right here beside that on deck four is the future cruise vacations desk. So if you want to book your next cruise while you're still on board, this is the place they can do it. And this is an expanded location compared to some of the other celebrity ships I've been on in the past. Now moving just forward of that, this is a little bit different on reflection from some of the other Solstice class ships because this would be the club. However, here on Reflection, it's actually the conference center. So they actually do have conference space and the doors are locked right now. So we can't go in and see, unfortunately, but just know this is the uh, conference space. So, you know, if you, your work somehow wanted to have a conference on board, there is conference space uh, to do that here. There's also stairs here that you can go up to deck five, which we'll go up to in just a moment. But our next location on the tour as we move toward the forward of the ship here on deck four is Celebrity Central. Celebrity Central is a smaller venue than the main theater, and they utilize this space for things like movies and just smaller presentations throughout the cruise. Relax, relax, man. like we in a marriage like We're headed out of Celebrity Central. They're actually showing a movie in there, and they've actually shown a lot of feature films in Celebrity Central throughout the cruise. They've also held Beyond the Podium series in there as well. So now turning the corner, we head to Reflection Theater. Reflection Theater is the main theater on board the ship, and it's located all the way forward on decks four and also on deck five. And also in addition to being the main theater on board the ship, Reflection Theater is also the meeting point for excursions. So if you're going on uh, daily excursions, this will be the place where you meet for those. Um, and they actually give you your tickets and like direct you out to the buses and things like that. So uh, a lot of different uses for the Reflection Theater here on board Celebrity Reflection. So that is all for Deck 4 on the Reflection. So now we're going to head up the stairs to Deck 5 and we'll start our tour in the very forward of the ship on Deck 5. I just wanted to show these sort of intermediate levels on the ship when you go up the stairwells. They do have a lot of art um, around the ship, which is very nice. So we've now made it to Deck 5 forward. And of course, just like what we saw on Deck four forward, the Reflection Theater. This is where we'll find the upper seating or the upper level of Reflection Theater here on deck five. So if you like a balcony seat, this is where you come to get those. Just beside the entrance to the Reflection Theater is the entrance to the outdoor promenade or the outside deck on deck five. This deck extends from the forward portion of deck five all the way to the aft portion. So you can walk all the way along the outside of the ship. It's a nice place to come and relax. There's also smoking sections out here, so if you are a smoker, you would come 
two deck five and the designated locations, um, either in the forward or in the aft here on the promenade deck. We'll actually head back inside to continue our tour of the ship on deck five forward. Now, if we crossed the stairwell right there and went to the other side of the ship, we'd actually find another entrance to the promenade. So that outdoor deck is on both sides of the ship on deck five. And there's several different entrances to it, not just in the forward, but also in the middle and after the ship on deck five as well. But here we are still in the forward of deck five and we can look down here and see that open area, that open space I was talking about down on deck four. And also that stairwell that you can take that'll bring you right up here. We're currently in the photo gallery of the ship, and this is where you can come and see the pictures that you've had taken throughout the cruise. Uh, most everything is done digitally now, but they also have other things over here in the photo gallery that you can buy. They have frames, um, they have binoculars, they have all sorts of different things that you can buy, digital cameras, GoPros, they have tripods. Um, and then right here in the photo gallery, this is also the internet desk. So if you have issues with your basic Wi-Fi or premium Wi-Fi, this is where you can come to get those addressed. And then right here beside the photo gallery, still on deck five forward, we see more celebrity shops. So we saw some on deck four. Now we're seeing them again on deck five. Uh, they have Kate Spade. They have uh, perfume. Uh, they have all sorts of things. Anything that you would really want to buy on a cruise ship, you can find here at the shops on Deck 5. So continuing toward the middle of the ship on Deck 5, you can see, like I said, another entrance to that outdoor deck, the promenade on Deck 5. Coming up on Pieces of Time, that's uh, the watch location here on board the ship. If you're looking to buy a watch, they also have more watches available here at this shop. So plenty of opportunities to buy a watch on board the Reflection. And once we get past the shops, we're going to come to the World Class Bar. And the World Class Bar does feature some seating area here. But the World Class Bar is one of the many bars. We already saw the Martini Bar, of course, on Deck 4. But it's one of the many bars available on board the ship. And again, like I said at Martini Bar, if this were the evening, this would be packed with people uh, coming to have drinks. They have drinks from all over the world at World Class Bar. One more shop here right beside World Class Bar. And then that'll bring us to midship on deck five and another famous bar location on board the ship or coffee bar that is cafe al Bacho. this is where you can come and get your coffees um, typically they have pastries here it looks like they're cleaning right now um, but coffees and pastries and takeaways and other things like that you can get right here at cafe al Bacho. and then of course there's plenty of seating here um, and then you can look down to the dance floor down below on deck three you can see the martini bar down there on deck four. Plenty of beautiful spaces here, plenty of beautiful views, a beautiful chandelier there in the middle, all viewable from deck five here, Cafe Al Bacho. Now we're gonna to walk to the other side of the ship, just across the atrium. And like I mentioned, this ship is just oozing with art. Get it, oozing with art. Another dining venue, this is a specialty dining venue, it's Sushi on Five. It's located here, uh, well, on deck five, right beside the main atrium. And this is where you can come and get sushi. And again, it is for additional charge. You do have to pay additional for that. It's not included uh, in your cruise fare. So moving just past Sushi on 5, we are going to come to the elevator bank and stairwell, the midship elevator bank on deck 5. And if we look over here, we see yet another entrance to that promenade outside deck. But we're going to move over to the starboard side of the ship and start to head toward the aft of the ship here on deck five because there's a lot of stuff back here starting with the ensemble lounge in order to get to the ensemble lounge you actually come to this uh, cool art installation of course like i said a lot of art on this ship but a lot of art on all celebrity ships really and they love to have a random hallway with art and that's exactly what this is but you come through here and you come to the ensemble lounge and the ensemble lounge is cool because there's tons of seating of course there's a bar but it's sort of the entry point for a number of different locations on board the ship. Right here, the first thing we'll come to is Michael's Club. You can see the entrance to Michael's Club right there. Michael's Club, like Luminae, is exclusive to guests of the retreat. So if you're staying in the retreat, you do have access to Michael's Club. Here is the bar I was talking about in the Ensemble Lounge. And then just beside that, we do have Murano. Murano is a specialty dining venue so um, if you 
enjoy really good eating you can come to Murano they have very good dinner offerings each evening and it is a very beautiful dining room but it's also a very small dining room so you want to make sure you make your reservations as soon as you can in advance of your cruise but the cool thing about it being so small is that it is a very intimate dining location and you see they have these little uh, mobile stations that's because they cook at least portions of your meal or prepare it right at your table so they will this up at your table and they will fire it up and they will uh, make you dinner which is really nice I always enjoy eating at Murano and you can see back here toward the back they actually have a large dining table and sort of a private room so um, if you have a larger party uh, maybe you can get this or maybe this is for private events I'm not sure but it is a very nice private dining room located in Murano so just outside of Murano, we're back into the Ensemble Lounge, and you can see they do have an area here where they do have live music, and they do have live music every evening. But like I said, plenty of places to sit. You do have the bar and Ensemble Lounge. And the cool thing about Ensemble Lounge is, you know, we had Michael's Club right up there. We had Murano right here. It's sort of the entryway to a lot of different dining venues on board the ship. And I say that because as we head toward the aft of the ship here on Deck 5, we're gonna to come to three more dining rooms. So deck five is the place to go if you're hungry because there's a lot of dining rooms available on deck five, particularly specialty dining rooms where you'll actually have to pay a little bit more to dine. And as we get to the aft of deck five, you'll see they have even more art, this neat little forest installation here. And the first dining venue that we're gonna to come to in the aft of deck five is Cuisine. And Cuisine is the location of Le Petit Chef and family it's a little animated dining experience and here is that dining room the cool thing the unique thing about dining at Le Petit family is uh, or Le Petit Chef I think is the correct name you see up in the ceiling they actually have these projectors everywhere that's because they project a little animation down onto your plate as you enjoy your dinner which is very neat but again, this is a specialty restaurant, so you will pay more to dine here. And now walking across from Cuisine, walking to the other side of the ship on deck five, we'll come to Blue. And Blue is exclusive to those guests staying in Aqua Class. So if you've booked Aqua Class or a spa room on board the ship, your dining room will be located in Blue. Now leaving Blue, we're gonna turn uh, and check out one more dining venue on board here on deck five and that is Tuscan Grill. Tuscan Grill, again, a specialty dining venue. You will pay additional to eat here, but I promise you it's worth the money. Tuscan Grill is one of my favorite places to eat on any solstice ship. It's a very beautiful dining room, as you can see, but one of the best things about it is the view off the back of the ship, because look at this. You have this sort of wraparound, um, on both sides of the restaurant where you can see the window so imagine being at sea we're on deck five so we're pretty close to the water you can actually see the very uh aft of the ship right there but you could just have a nice wake view uh as you have your dinner so it's a very nice place to dine tuscan grill on the very aft of deck five so having exhausted all public guest spaces on deck five we've now moved up to the middle of the ship the middle elevator bank here on deck six and deck six is mostly guest rooms Actually, deck six, seven, eight, and nine, and maybe even ten as we go up will be all guest staterooms will actually only appear uh, at the midship elevator bank. And that's because you find some sort of location at all of those. Here on deck six, it's a celebrity eye lounge, and this is a place where you can use computers, but it's also an authorized reseller of Apple products. You see they do have computers available for you to use over there and then they do have things for sale here a lot like the things that they had back in the photo gallery but that is all of the public guest areas here on deck six so uh let's go up to deck seven and check out their midship offering coming right up the stairs here on deck seven and we'll look right here because each of these midship elevator and stair banks do have a uh, view out into the atrium. So you can see again, deck three where we started down below in the dance floor. And then that tree that's suspended above the atrium over there. We're gonna walk very quickly around the elevators here on deck seven where we're gonna find the hideaway. And the hideaway is a nice little 
place to sit here on deck seven. They do have some very creative places for you to hide away or relax, such as these little nooks here that you can get in and enjoy. They also have these creative little pods right here. And this is very cool. This is unique to reflection and I think silhouette. So uh, some of the other older Solstice class ships don't actually have this, but I think it's cool because it sort of bridges the gap between um, the Solstice class ship and the Edge class ship because I feel like this is like something you would see on some of the newer celebrity ships. And that is the Hideaway here on deck seven. Now on deck eight. And again, in the middle of the ship at the elevator bank, we'll find just an extension of the hideaway. So the hideaway actually encompasses deck seven down there, which is where we just were. And then here on deck eight, they have these cool little pods you can actually, or nest, it's more like a nest. You can get inside and have a seat and you'll have a good view at the atrium over there, at the lower portion of the hideaway. But it's just a nice place to come and relax. And again, that's, the extension of the hideaway here on deck eight. So now in the same area on deck nine, um, we come to another public space, the only public space for guests on deck nine. This is game on. And as the name suggests, it's a place where you can come and play games. They have cards and board games and all sorts of things down here that you can use. They also have a lot of spaces for you to sit, so you can come with your friends and family and uh, play some games. They also have little table games. You see this little interactive screen here. You can click it on, and there's all sorts of little games that you can pick uh, to play, which is very cool. And that's game on here on deck nine. So now on deck 10 in the middle of the ship, we come to the library. And like all the other midship locations, uh, it's the only public guest space available on deck 10 but it is a huge library it actually encompasses the shelf at least a couple of decks going up there to deck 11 and we won't visit deck 11 but I do want to show that they have some seating up there a couple seats uh, but that's it this is the uh, only thing here on deck 10 as I said it is a very nice library good place to come and sit as you do have a stunning view of the upper portion of that elevator bank and the glass dome above. And they do have books available over on the shelf. And you can take those books and read, but they do ask that you return those uh, by the end of the cruise. And they actually have a little book return drop right here. But the library is officially open on board Celebrity Reflection, and it's a nice one here on Deck 10. So as there was nothing of significance on Deck 11, We've now come to deck 12. Deck 12 is the location of the captain's club desk and also the concierge desk, which you can see across the way over there. But these are locations where you can come if you have issues that you need addressed by the concierge or the captain's club representative. And again, this is on deck 12 in the middle of the ship. But wait, there's actually more to deck 12. We are now in the forward of deck 12. And this is where we're gonna find the spa on board the ship. And I'll just show you here the entrance to the spa is right here. I'm not gonna go inside, but uh, just gonna show you down to all the treatment rooms and things that are back that way. And this is the check-in desk here but all sorts of different services offered at the spa. Now walking across the uh, stairwell elevator bank here on deck 12, we'll come to the other side of the ship and the fitness center on board, which is right back here. And they have all sorts of different things. They do have spin classes and things like that. I'm not gonna go into the fitness center itself just because of the privacy of the people that are currently in there. I do want to show that they have a full gym here and it's located on deck 12 in the forward of the ship. So as there is no deck 13 uh, at a superstition on board the ship, uh, we now come to the forward of deck 14. So just up one deck from where we were on deck 12. And this is where we find the location of the Sky Observation Lounge. One cool thing I'll note before we go in is that they do have a bathroom right outside the Sky Lounge, which is different than some of the other Solstice class ships. 
But I really like this Sky Observation Lounge because it is more modern. Has a little bit better of an aesthetic than uh, some of the older Solstice class ships. However, it's only like a portion of the size of some of those older Sky Observation Lounges. You can see right here is the dance floor. They do turn this into a club at night. So if you're someone who likes to go to the club or uh, party at night after hours, this is where you'll find it. There is a bar up here also that is open until late into the night. And then of course more seating. The cool thing about this Sky Observation Lounge is just as the name suggests, all the observing and observations that you can make from up here because it is on the very front of the ship and you do have these huge floor to ceiling windows to look out. And we'll look out on to, uh, we're actually in the port of Naples today. So we have a good view of Mount Vesuvius right there in front of us. Of course, the famous volcano that led to the demise of Pompeii. So we'll see all the cool places you can see from the Sky Observation Lounge. And I did want to mention, I did say that it is smaller than the Sky Observation Lounge on older Solstice class ships. And that's because on the other side of this wall, which would usually be the rest of Sky Observation Lounge on older ships. This is actually the location of a few suites. I think there's like three or four suites there. And we'll walk around to the other side a minute and see the entrance to those. But that is why the Sky Observation Lounge on reflection is smaller. I'm going to come into the corner here so you can sort of get an idea of the full size of the Sky Observation Lounge. So now exiting Sky Observation Lounge, we'll now be back to the stairwell and elevator bank here on the forward of deck 14. And as I promised, I am going to walk around to the other side over here and show you the entrance to those suites I mentioned. So right here, there actually is a uh, protected hallway. You can see you have to use your key card to enter, but this says this is the reflection and signature suites. And I think this would have been where the conference space was on some of the older Solstice class ships, but it is suites here on board reflection. Now moving just aft of that, and we're going to come to the spa cafe the spa cafe is located just inside the solarium which is back here we'll get a look at the solarium in just a minute but the spa cafe is where you can come for lighter fare and i'll actually show you here's the current menu as of september 2023 if you want to pause and get a look at that but they do have lighter fare uh, they are open for breakfast and for lunch most days so a nice place to come and grab some refreshments especially if you're here at the solarium which is here. Now this is an adults only area and it is all enclosed no matter what climate you're sailing in. If you're in Alaska um, or maybe it's raining out or storming out, you can come and enjoy the solarium. There is a pool here. There are hot tubs on either side of the deck. And this is adults only. Guests only uh, older than the age of 16 are available to visit the solarium. So no kids here. So it's a nice uh, relaxed place to come throughout your cruise and of course it's not busy at all today because we are in port but if we were in a sea day this would be just crowded with folks but it is a very lovely place it's a very beautiful pool and hot tub area as well now just heading aft of the solarium we'll come to actually the main resort deck or the main pool deck here on board reflection and this, of course, is where you're going to find the main pool. You're going to find plenty of beach chairs, plenty of places to sit, and plenty of sunshine. In addition to the pools being here, there's also hot tubs. There's four hot tubs here on this deck. There's a couple of pools. There is a bar. You can see the pool deck bar right there in the middle. There's all these loungers, uh, places you can sit, and there's all sorts of covered seating as well. So lots of places for you to relax. And I'll also input some footage here of uh, the pool deck at night so you can get a view of that. It is a very lovely deck, whether day or night. So now we've walked just past the pools here on deck 14. They do have a stage over there set up where they do live music at times. There is also a stairwell that you can walk up to deck 15. There's a nice jogging track up there, which we'll see in just a minute. And of course, the lawn club. See all those in a moment. But we're gonna continue to head toward the aft of the ship because one of the most popular places on board the entire ship reflection is the Ocean View Cafe, and that's located here on deck 14 aft. And Ocean View Cafe is the main buffet, the only buffet actually, on board the ship. Here's the entrance to that. And there are restrooms just outside of that. We just passed one there on our right. Plenty of seating in here. As soon as you enter, you'll see 
the beginning of the seating areas. There's also a bar here inside. So if you do want to drink uh, or soda or anything like that with your meal, you can get that here at the bar. They also have wait staff that walks around and, and brings you drinks as well. And then as we get to the food portion of the Ocean View Cafe, it is marketplace style, meaning there's all sorts of different uh, buffets that you can walk around and see the various selections that they have. So moving past the buffet area toward the very back of the ship, see there's plenty more seating to be found back here and also a beverage station here at the very back of the buffet. We're gonna to head to the very back of the ship here on deck 14. And this outdoor area is just an extension of the buffet seating area, really. And this is a very large area. This is also different on the reflection because on the Solstice and Equinox, which are the only other uh, Solstice class ships I've sailed on, there is a bar in the middle of this deck. But here, there's plenty of seating and beautiful views. You see if you get a table here in the sun, you can look off the very back of the ship. As you can see there's also this stairwell here on deck 14 and it does go up to the very back of the ship on deck 15 which is a notable location because it is the location of the sunset bar here on board reflection and sunset bar one of the more popular bars on board the ship because well it has a great view it's also very cool that it's in the middle uh, of the deck and not up against the wall like it is on some of the other ships because there is seating in the round there's also places you can sit right here Put your drinks right there and have a great view off the aft of the ship and there is plenty of seating here at the sunset bar on both sides of the ship and now we've gotten to the lawn club and the lawn club yes that is real grass you might be asking yourself it is real grass they do keep it in very great condition and this is where you can come and play different sports games if you're into that you can do that right here and then moving uh toward the middle of the ship you can see a bigger section of lawn right here. And these alcoves right here, you can actually rent these out. You see there's several of them right here on the lawn, but you can actually rent these out both during sea days. They're more expensive on sea days, of course, but at port days as well, you can sit out here in the direct sunshine and uh, enjoy views of the lawn all day long. They also have these hammocks here uh, for your enjoyment here on the lawn club, the lawn deck. They also have these huge uh, Adirondack looking chairs here, but it's a good place to get a, a photo op for sure. And then they do have these beanbag seating out here, just right beside the, uh, the little alcove cabanas. You can come out here and sit and enjoy some sports. They also have had movies throughout the course of the cruise right up here on this screen. Plenty of space for activities here on the lawn on deck five. And then right beside the lawn, you have the lawn club grill. Lawn Club Grill is another specialty dining location on board the ship, so it does cost additional to eat here. If you've been on the Edge series of ships, you've noticed the rooftop garden grill, and this is the direct predecessor to that. You see they have a grill over there, so they have grilled offerings like steak and fish and burgers. They also have so many delicious flatbreads, which are all very good. And it's a great place to eat because you have a great view here of the lawn. And uh, you can, of course, see off both sides of the ship from this vantage point. So a beautiful place to enjoy. They're open, I think, on sea days for lunch, but they're open every night for dinner. So toward the aft of the ship there, that's back toward the Sunset Bar. So we're going to continue walking toward the middle of the ship here on Deck 15. Here on the port side of the Deck 15, just in front of the lawn club, you find the studio. And this is a fine art photography. I've not seen this open any, but I assume this is where you can go if you want to get like a photo session uh, taken when you're on your cruise. They also have really cool seating out here that is somewhat covered. It's a little bit more shaded than being out on the lawn, but uh, you can come here and sit. And this is cool because it sort of feels like a veranda, like a little porch. You can come hang out out here. You see they have these little checkerboard tables. So uh, a plethora of places to sit, so many options to uh, be outside here on board Celebrity Reflection. Now we've just taken a step inside. We see the elevator bank here on deck 15, and I'm gonna cross and come across to the other side of deck 15 and this is where we're going to find another specialty dining location and this is the porch and the porch is open on for lunch on both port and sea days it's also open for dinner but it is additional cost but they do have seafood offerings here um, they have sandwiches and things like that 
I had lunch here a few days ago and it was really good. So uh, maybe check out the porch. Like I said, another specialty dining venue here on board Reflection. But we are going to continue our journey across deck 15. And I think deck 15 is probably my favorite deck on board the ship because there's so many things to see and do here. Um, so many places to sit, but you're sort of just above it all. And uh, we'll see that right here because we're going to walk across this bridge. You see that literally it goes above it all. It walks across um, the pool deck, of course. You can see the pool deck down there where we just were with the bar and everything. And then also over here on the other side, you see that glass dome and the elevator bank. And at night, you could actually come. You can't see it well now because of the blue glass. But if you could see this at night, you could see all the way down to the main atrium on deck three, which is really cool. So you literally are above it all here on deck 15. It's also the location of the jogging track, which I am currently standing on, walking on. So now we've walked toward the forward of the ship on deck 15. There's the pool deck down there. Here's the location of the mass bar. The mass bar, uh, again, up a level from the pool bar, but it is a good place to come if you want to get a drink while you're hanging out. And that's over here on the starboard side of deck 15. We're gonna move back over to the port side and see the location of the mass grill. The mass grill, of course, is like the main burger eatery on board the ship. They have uh, burgers and fries and hot dogs and things like that. Just a cool place to come and grab a quick bite to eat. They also have a drink station over there and it's all here beside the pool on deck 14 and 15. But now we're gonna continue our journey to the very front of the ship here on deck 15 taking some stunning vistas along the way as we can see a busy day in the industrial port of naples italy and as, as i said earlier we are on the walking track and you can see the walking track does continue um, around the solarium we were just on the solarium a minute ago down on deck 14. Uh, you can wrap all the way around that solarium when you're on the jogging track here on deck 15. So now we're in the very forward of the ship on deck 15. I wanted to show you back down uh, because if you notice, you could walk all the way from the back, all the way back at Sunset Bar, all the way around up the jogging track, all the way up here, and then walk all the way around the front of the ship. So deck 15, you literally can walk all the way around the deck and be outside the entire time. That's why it's one of my favorite places to come on the entire ship because of the walking, you're out in the sunshine. It's a great place, especially when you're sailing, either sailing into a port or away from a port, or just when you're at sea, it's a great place to come and walk and just have amazing views the entire time. But here on the very front of the ship, on deck 15, this is where you're gonna find the basketball court. So maybe you've missed it all over the rest of the ship and you're like, where is the basketball court? It's on the very front of the ship, on a, basically the highest deck of the ship. So it's sort of hidden up here. Sort of an odd space, really, for a basketball court. But nonetheless, here it is on the forward of deck 15 and i gotta show you one more thing y'all and we're done with the celebrity reflection and i hope that you've enjoyed this tour if you have please go down below give me a thumbs up on this video please as it does help out my channel greatly please also consider subscribing if you've not subscribed already i do a lot of ship tours on just about every ship that i sell on so a lot of ship tours i also do ship reviews food reviews so now we've come to solstice deck solstice deck is the last location for us on our tour today of celebrity reflection this is deck 16 and it's going to be the highest location on the ship so this is the solstice deck like i said it's the highest location on the ship a lot of seating up here a lot of areas to sit it's just very hot because you are in the direct sunlight and if you were on a refurbished ship or a ship that's been revolutionized as celebrity calls it this would actually be the retreat deck exclusive for those guests staying in the retreat but since the reflection has not been revolutionized there is no retreat deck on this ship so uh, you have the solstice deck instead but it's usually pretty quiet up here it's a good place to come and hang out i like to come up here sometimes when we're leaving port to get good pictures and videos but this is the highest location and our last location on board our tour of the celebrity reflection and that's going to do it for our tour all around the celebrity reflection i hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next adventure.